So we've come quite a ways on this, but we're not quite done yet. We're almost there, but not quite. So next, what we need to do, we're going to do some foreground elements. So I'm gonna make a new layer. We're gonna call this foreground. And on this layer, we're going to do some leaves, things like that, that can be in our foreground so that we have another extra added layer of depth for our image. So we are going to go ahead and grab a brush here. And because this is going to be out of focus, we can be pretty, pretty rough and loose with it. In fact, actually, we can even just use a brush, uh, a plant brush here, if we can find one. Let's see, what does this one look like? No, not that. No. Um, shrub? No. Fern? Probably that one. Yeah. Okay. So, mm, maybe we should just do it by hand. I'm not really feeling any of these. Yeah, let's just do it by hand. It'll be fine. So. We'll go back to our brush we we're using before. And we are, like I said, we're going to be painting in some foliage. And we can paint over what we have. Because we are going to be making out of focus. And this is going to help add quite a bit of depth to this. Alright, and then we're going to bring it really bright so we can get this, uh, the lit area of these leaves here. And we're going to be kind of moving this around a bit so we can get different colors. All right, and so we have that there for a foreground. Let's see if this works or if it looks like garbage. We'll find out here in a second. We're going to go to, let's see, um, what is it we want? We want filter, and we're going to want Gaussian blur. And we probably don't want it that strong. I think we're looking somewhere more around there. And I think we need to bring a little bit more of it into our overlapping our painting here. get some different shades of green in here so we have some variation some of this yellow green and some of this color as well all right let's try it again do filter blur gaussian blur I think what we're looking for is going to be somewhere right about in the middle. And then we might want to make this darker a little bit as well. So let's kind of toy around with that, I think, a bit. All 
right, excellent. If we want, we can do another layer to have just a little bit extra depth, so we'll call this foreground two, and do the same thing. But let's do, let's actually use the plant one on this one because we can make this uh, a little different here. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna bring our brush size up pretty big. Maybe not that big. Right about there. Okay, and then let's duplicate this layer. And then merge them together. And then duplicate it again. And then merge down again. And then let's do it one more time. I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll find out here in a second. All right, and then let's try Gaussian blurring this one. Hmm. I don't know. We might be better off without this layer. I think we are. Let's just scratch that one all together. Let's go ahead and delete that. This layer though, the foreground layer, let's try blowing it up a little bit. Maybe we just need to do a little bit of a vignette as well. So let's try that. Let's do a new layer. Let's set this layer to multiply. We're gonna get a dark green color, greenish blue. We're gonna get an airbrush. Bring our brush up and we're gonna zoom out here. All right, and then we can lower the opacity. Let's try color burn. I kind of like that, actually. Just lower the opacity so it's not as strong. Gives us this nice little vignette there. And you know what? Ah, dang, I know what I forgot. Um, we didn't get any of that blue light on these leaves, so... Let's try, I don't know if we can go back that far. We might have to redo that layer, which you know what? Let's do it. We're going to redo the foreground layer here. So we're going to delete that. Wasn't super keen on it anyways. Let's just try and rework it a little better. But we're going to do that foreground layer. And this time what I want to do, I think, is a couple things. I want to try and frame it a little better, one. And we're going to get a little bit of the blue light that is coming in as well and lighting the side of this. We're going to have it light uh, some of these leaves as well. All right, so then we'll color pick that blue and bounce that in along the side of all of these little plants here. That will help sell this scene a little more, I think. Alright, let's try this out and see how this looks now. Oh, there we go. That looks much better, in my opinion. 
can choose exactly how much we want to blur it out. I think right about there looks pretty good. Excellent. So there we go, that is our foreground. We only have a little bit left to do, and so far I think it's looking really good. Um, I'm going to just... I'm recording! I'm recording! Oh, I thought you were Jason. All right, so we're just gonna clear out this vignette a little bit, especially around this guy's head, because he's a little dark. But there we go. That's better. So that is the end of this lecture, and I will see you guys in the next one.